Ganta is watching a video about the field trip they are going on to Dead Man Wonderland. The last time Ganta was there was 10 years ago so he doesn't remember much. Class is now starting and a mysterious dark figure in a red cape attacks the classroom from the third story window. Ganta gets sent flying across the classroom and gets knocked out. When he wakes up in the classroom to see everyone is dead except him. The man with the red cape walked up to Ganta and shoves a red stone into the middle of his chest. Ganta wakes up in a hospital with officers around him charging him with killing all the students. When he goes to court they determine him guilty without evidence and send him to jail. Ganta is resisting being taken out of the room when a phone falls out of his pocket showing a video of him talk about killing the kids. A girl named Shiro is sitting on top of the amusement park Deadman Wonderland waiting for Ganta. Ganta shows up to Deadman Wonderland to work there as a slave with all the other prisoners. The female warden Makina lines up the new prisoners and slices a prisoner to intimidate the newbies. Ganta is carrying some metal pipes when he has a flashback of the girl in his classroom that he liked. From the sky drops the girl Shiro from earlier, and she tries to kill Ganta as a joke. While Ganta and Shiro are talking some other prisoners start talking smack to Ganta. Shiro hits one of the prisoners and then gets knocked out by a shovel. Ganta gets up and tries to attack the prisoners but gets beat up by all the prisoners. Out of nowhere a big sign falls down on Ganta and the prisoners but Ganta awakens the crystal in his chest and uses his abilities to stop the sign from crushing him and Shiro. Makina is watching some video footage from the park and saw Ganta's powers. Ganta heads over to the nursing office to get patched up. While he's there Shiro pops out of the air vent and asks to play with Ganta. Ganta enters a race in hopes of winning and earning 100,000 cast points. Cast points are the currency in the prison, how to buy food and items. Ganta enters the locker rooms to wait for the race to start with the other competitors. A mixed martial artist named Kazumasa walks in the locker room demanding respect and starts beating Ganta and anyone else who looks at him wrong. When Ganta is in the middle of being beat, Shiro comes in to bring Ganta food and steps on Kazumasa's foot which causes him to hit Shiro, but the warden steps in and blocks the hit and threatens Kazumasa. The race starts and Ganta starts running into the first obstacle when he gets cut by the swinging blades. Ganta looks up and realizes this isn't just a game, and watches someone get cut in half. The next few obstacles are bullets, arrows, acid pools, electric fences and cliffs that Ganta has to avoid. At every obstacle Shiro assists Ganta multiple times so he doesn't die. Shiro and Ganta get to the very end of the race alive and see that Kazumasa is also there. The last three people are set to a death match on whoever gets a hold of a ball and can stay alive on falling panels. Ganta gets a hold of the ball and is running away from Kazumasa. When Kazumasa gets close he threatens to kill Ganta and Ganta throws the ball right at his face and the ball flies over to Shiro. Kazumasa is mad at Ganta and runs over to kill him but the panels between him and Ganta fall and Kazumasa falls into the spike pit and dies. Shiro almost falls into the spike pit but Ganta reaches down to grab Shiro and saves her instead of grabbing the ball she had. The ball drops into the spike pit and pops and the race ends with no winner. The next day Ganta is sad because today he will die since he didn't get to buy candy but lucky his friend Yotakami gives him a piece of candy to survive for three more days. They both head outside and Yo buys Ganta some ice cream to be nice which causes Gantz to remember when he got ice cream once with his school friends. The red cape man was being held captive in the basement of Dead Man Wonderland by the leaders of the theme park. The red cape man escaped due to maintenance failure and came out to the park and started killing prisoners. Ganta sees him and gets mad because he killed all of his friends. The red crystal in Ganta's chest comes out and Ganta uses his abilities to attack the red cape man but the attack was weak. The man looks at Ganta and smiles then flies away. Ganta tries to run after the cape man but falls and passes out from exhaustion. Ganta wakes up in the prison hospital with Shiro sitting next to the bed and many other injured prisoners laying in hospital beds. The chief warden Makina orders all guards to catch Ganta and have him in handcuffs within an hour. She calls a code red and locks down the whole prison. Ganta and Shiro get stuck in a hallway due to the closing doors. Yo finds them and tells Ganta he should turn himself in but Ganta is looking for G block which is where the red cape man is supposed to be at. Down the hallway they see a robot come up and target Ganta trying to kill him. Shiro kicks down an air van and they all climb into the vent to escape. When they all climb through the vent there's nothing but dark hallways. They all think they're safe now but the big robot comes crashing through the wall and chases them down these dark hallways. 
Shiro climbs in the vents often and knows her way around and leads Yo and Ganta to G Block. The robot follows them all the way to G Gate and shoots rockets trying to kill them. While the dust is clearing up everyone is fine and Shiro kicks the robot away and starts yelling at Ganta. The robot comes back and tries killing Shiro but a man that can use the same powers as Ganta cuts the robot in half saving Shiro. Ganta runs up to the unknown man named Senji to attack him but Senji attacked Ganta using a blood scythe. Senji keeps calling Ganta the woodpecker and saying how he is disappointed. Ganta grabs a pipe and tries to hit Senji with it but he just uses his sides to cut the pipe into pieces. Senji starts walking away in disappointment when Ganta yells at him and shoots blood out of his hands and breaking Senji's sides knocking him back a bit. Senji and Ganta start talking and Senji explains how there are more people who can do what they do and they are called dead men. Senji goes to attack Ganta to see what he's made of but Shiro kicks him away. Senji starts blushing and gets nervous because Shiro is wearing very tight clothes. Senji takes off his shirt offering it to Shiro to wear when in the distance two darts fly and hit Senji and Ganta knocking them both out. Senji wakes up in the nursing office with broken ribs and sternum. Ganta wakes up in a facility strapped down to a machine that had wires and tubes all connected to him. The master Tamaki tortures Ganta for talking bad then shows him a trailer of Carnival Core explaining how dead men fight on a one-on-one -on -one till death for unlimited candy and a lot of cast points. Ganta gets pun into a cage with Senji to fight. When the whistle blows Ganta runs to climb a tree and shoot his blood from a further range. Senji just slices through every attack by Ganta and after about 4 attacks Ganta used to much blood and almost passes out. Senji cuts down the tree Ganta was on and slices Ganta's arms and chest. Ganta is laying down in a pool of his blood barely alive. He gets up and shoots down the speaker in the sky to distract Senji so he can get just close enough to blast his chest exactly where he did the day before which sends Senji flying knocking him out. Shiro and Yo get dropped back off to the normal prison and acquire some intel on how to get back into G block to see Ganta again. Ganta wakes up in his bed with a piece of candy and a 1 million cast point certificate next to his bed. The TV in Ganta's room turns on and shows Senji getting his eye taken out for losing the match. Outside in the prison Shiro and Yo are following a plan to take out the guards and shut down the power in order to sneak into G block. Shiro gets cornered by a bunch of officers and uses a tornado ability to take out the whole building and kill every officer sending their bodies flying everywhere. When the smoke clears Shiro has blue flames on her body and she passes out and gets taken by two guards. Ganta notices a girl outside his room getting approached by this scary guy asking for food then helps the girl out and goes to her room. Her name is Minitsuki and Shell unzips her dress to show Ganta how her father used to abuse her. When Minitsuki turns around her clothes fall down and Ganta blushes. Ganta and Minitsuki both agree to run away but they get caught shortly after running and Ganta finds out that he has to fight Minitsuki tomorrow. The next day Ganta and Minitsuki get in the cage and the fight starts. Minitsuki immediately attacks Ganta with her sin and she starts to laugh and switch her whole attitude. Minitsuki ends up evil and loves killing people, it turns her on. Yo snuck into G block and showed up to the cage where Ganta and Minitsuki are fighting in. Yo explains to his sister Minitsuki that he went into this prison to buy her sentence and get her out of prison. Minitsuki blames this on Ganta and Yo stands up to Ganta. Ganta knows the truth and attacks Minitsuki but she uses Yo as a shield. Minitsuki picks up Yo with her sin and starts whipping him. Ganta steps up for Yo and Minitsuki starts whipping Ganta with her blood. Ganta catches Minitsuki off guard and uses his powers to cut her hair off. Minitsuki can barely use her sin when Ganta walks up and headbutts Minitsuki and knocks her out winning the fight. Ganta is standing next to the hospital bed where Minitsuki lays when the whole building starts shaking and things start crumbling everywhere. Ganta was walking when he remembers back when Shiro and him used to be friends back at the place his mom worked at. Ganta was walking in the grass when a dog attacks him. As Ganta was screaming for help Shiro came and saved him. Ganta was walking in the hallways of G block when out of nowhere a girl named Karako with a red fist punches Ganta in the chest knocking him out. Ganta wakes up on a couch with Karako sitting next to him. Karako apologies for punching him and introduces Ganta to Nagi the leader of the rebel group they are creating. Nagi asks Ganta to join when the TV comes on and shows Minitsuki rolling for what gets taken. She gets very lucky and gets hair. After the TV turns off a man with a guitar named Jenkaku walks in and throws Yo who is barely conscious on the floor. 
Karako attacks Jenkaku but Jenkaku used his guitar case to attack sending her flying across the room. Ganto attacks him but his blood bullet doesn't even touch Jenkaku. Jenkaku gets mad and pulls his actual guitar out and starts attacking them all. Shiro comes out of the roof vent in her costume and attacks Jenkaku. Jenkaku backs off and walks away. Nagi invites Ganta to meet the rest of the rebel family. Ganta is now sitting at the bar next to a big ice cream bowl that Shiro wanted to eat. Nagi gets on the stage and starts proposing that they break out of the prison tomorrow because inspections for the whole Dead Man Wonderland theme park is happening. Ganta decides to leave and call them out on their crap. Ganta walks over to Senji and asks him about Undertakers. Senji explains that Undertakers work for the prison to make sure that the prisoners stay in line even with their branch of sin. That night Ganta heads back to the rebels headquarters and apologizes for what he said earlier. Ganta agrees to help the rebels escape the prison and runs with them to head down a hallway after Nagi takes out the security system. While escaping Karako stays back to hold back a robot that was attacking them. Karako attacks the robot and the robot explodes which causes Karako to fall down a dark hole. Ganta and the rest of the rebels get to the end of the hallway and have to wait for Nagi to send down the elevator that takes them back up to the surface. Nagi and Bundo are up in the control room about to switch the elevator down when a little girl walks in the room and starts talking to Nagi. Nagi notifies Bundo to pull the lever to let the elevator down when Bundo starts laughing and turns evil. Nagi turns back and the girl pulls out a huge sword three times the size of her body. Nagi attacks the girl with his sin of blood. As soon as the blood gets close to the girl's weapon the blood disintegrates. The little girl named Hibana turns out to be an undertaker and explains that every undertaker has a thing called worm eater that attacks viruses from their blood. Nagi attacks Hibana again but she uses her weapon to disintegrate the blood. Hibana uses her huge sword to slice up Nagi bits at a time to torture him. Nagi insults her and she gets mad and starts swinging her sword recklessly and cuts off Nagi's arm. Nagi gets mad and runs over to Bundo and shoves his head into the wall knocking him down. Nagi pulls the handle to let the elevator go down. Hibana threatens Nagi but he just apologizes for what's about to happen to her and uses his branch of sin to attack her knocking her unconscious. At the end of the hallway Ganta and the others stand there waiting for the elevator. When the elevator makes it down the rest of the rebel army gets on. At the top of the elevator the door opens and there stands Jenkaku waiting for them to come up. Jenkaku starts firing his guns killing half of the rebel army the other half run away and start attacking Jenkaku and the guards. Ganta survives and hides. When a guard comes up to him and tells him that he needs to deliver this chip to let the whole world to know what is happening at Dead Man Wonderland. Jenkaku finds Ganta hiding and starts shooting at him Ganta uses his blood bullet to shoot back but the blood disintegrated because of Jenkaku's weapon. Jenkaku stabs shooting at Ganta and leaves him and some other members of the rebellion alive. Out of nowhere Shiro comes out of the vents and grabs the important chip out of Ganta's hands. Shiro throws the chip into the fire and the chip explodes. Ganta and Shiro start arguing about the chip. Ganta gets mad and punches Shiro in the face knocking her down. The rest of the rebel army headed back to the headquarters. A little later Karako shows up alive and wanting to act upon the plan to escape again. While the rest of the rebel army are discussing how they are going to escape Bundo walks in the door. The army was happy to see him until Bundo started laughing and explained how he made the chip in an attempt to kill Ganta. Bundo calls as a bunch of security and the first and second lieutenants of the undertakers named Mizuri and Dukaku. Bundo orders Mizuri and Dukaku to kill Ganta. When they lunge in to attack Ganta, Senji jumps in and cuts the first and second lieutenants right in half. After he kills them he asks who's the strongest in the room and is disappointed when he found out that he just killed the two strongest. Senji attacks the security guards in white armor but his branch of sin is disintegrated because of the worm eater metal in their weapons. Senji uses a special ability and uses his scythe to cut all the guards in half despite the worm eater. Shiro is in the dark hallways outside of G block laying down when a guy walks up to her. Jenkaku walks outside of his room to see the ruckus and kicks one of the guards helmets off and it ends up being Karaka sneaking around for the escape of the rebels. The guards hold Shiro and Karaka down about to ravage their bodies as Jenkaku records and threatens to let the guards do as they please if the rebel army decide to escape instead of saving the girls. Ganta immediately runs off to go save Shiro and gets stopped in the hallway by a bunch of guards. Minitsuki saves Ganta from the guards and tells him where to go in order to save Shiro and Karaku. Ganta walks through the door and shoots all the guards Shiro starts crying and runs over to Ganta. 
While she was running she gets tripped by Hibana and her big sword. Ganta gets up to run over to Shiro, but he is tripping and falling due to the lack of blood. Jenka laughs and starts to open a gate behind him using his guitar. He says let the games begin, and inside the gate is Nagi but he is different, and has changed because of the needle injections. Nagi walk out, and starts using his branch of sin to explode the room up and kill everyone. Nagi walks over to Shiro to beat her but Ganta gets in the way taking hit after hit. Nagi snaps out of the evil side because of the bell on Karaka's neck and starts making sense of what's happening. Ganta falls down after getting beaten by Nagi and his neck brace is starting to beep which is warning him that he needs candy to live. Karaka runs over and hugs Nagi, while hugging Karaka gets stabbed through her chest with a sword by Jenkaku. He then demands Nagi to kill everyone else. Nagi doesn't listen and Jenkaku shoots a hole in his with the guitar gun. Jenkaku then starts rampaging and shooting everyone in the room including the guards and Hibana. Hibana walks away in pain from when Jenkaku shot her and she runs into the Mockingbird. Hibana attacks him but gets destroyed and dies in one hit. In the room with Jenkaku, Ganta, and Shiro Ganta steps up in front of Shiro and says I will handle this one and be the hero. Ganta is getting mad and the red crystal in his chest starts shining. Ganta and Shiro's arm get a red patterns on it, and Ganta uses his branch of sin and his crystal to send the most powerful and devastating blood shot at Jenkaku. The blast blows a hole all the way through the building and out to the real world revealing the sky. Nagi is found laying on the floor bleeding out, and gives Ganta a candy to eat so his collar doesn't kill him. The rest of the rebel army leave on a ship into the real world. Ganta and Shiro sit on a tall building next to the Dead Man Wonderland Park and swing their feet off the edge. Subscribe for more videos like this.